Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very exciting episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I know you're going to love this one because in this episode we're going to talk about how to sprout blueberry seedlings from store-bought blueberries. It's a real easy way to get free plants from blueberries that may have gone bad. So I'm going to show you how to sprout them, I'm going to show you how to harvest the seeds, and I'm going to show you my preferred method of sprouting them. And there's a quick quick tip that a lot of people that have tried to sprout blueberries um, probably would have had more success had they known this quick tip. So I'm going to give you that as well. So stay tuned. Don't miss it. You're going to love this episode. I guarantee it. Let's go. All right, so the first things you're going to need to make this happen is a blender, some old blueberries, some paper towel, and just a little bit of water here. So this is all you're going to need, and well, actually in a Ziploc bag, but I'll grab that in a second. Um, so the first quick tip about your blueberries. This is the quick tip I was talking about here. So quick tip of why many people fail at sprouting blueberry seeds is this. It all comes down to the blueberries themselves. You need to make sure that the blueberries come from the United States. If they come from out of the United States, during the off season, many blueberry uh, growers are down in South America. And because US quarantine laws state that anything coming from, uh, you know, coming from other countries in the United States need to be radiated. And that means they just take a low level of radiation and it kills off any bugs or pests. But what it also does is it makes the seeds inviable. So you essentially have uh, fruit that uh, you know is is by our standards fruit but the seeds are dead any pests are dead any mold spore you know things like that they're all dead um, and so uh, your seeds will not sprout but if they're from the United States you're a-okay the next thing is you need to make sure that they've been put in the freezer now this is a very very vital step that a lot of people miss Blueberry seeds are perennial, and therefore their seeds need to be stratified. Stratification is the process of actually putting them through or simulating winter-like conditions. A lot of people will leave them in the fridge for too long and they get kind of wrinkly and pruney. That's what happened to these ones. We forgot them in the back of the fridge when we were on vacation, and we were going to take them with us, and you know how that goes. Uh, where did the blueberries go? Oh, they're, shoot, they're in the back of the fridge. And then you come back to a weird science experiment. So what we did, we, we forgot them in the fridge, they got nice and wrinkly, pruney, unable to be eaten. Then what we did is we threw them in the freezer. Threw them in the freezer for about two, two and a half weeks-ish, and that is enough time because they need um, at freezing conditions or below freezing conditions for at least three weeks. The longer the better, but too long after say about five to six weeks, um, it's not gonna do any good to the fruit itself. So you wanna just put it through a few weeks of winter-like conditions. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell the seeds inside the blueberries, hey, you know, hey, we've fallen from the plant, winter has come, now it's time to sprout. So once you've done that, that is the initial stage that takes some time, then what you can do is throw the fruit into a blender. You don't need that much to make it happen, but um, I'll throw in uh, about, half this container or whatever. You can do this even with a few seeds. And we're gonna throw in our water. And you wanna fair amount of water here because what's going to happen is uh, your blender is going to masticate all the fruit. Masticating is just breaking it up. Um, so it's going to break up the fruit, turn it into kind of a pulp, and all of your heavy viable seeds will sink down to the bottom as you'll see. So let's go. All right, and uh, about 10 seconds where the blending is all it takes. You just gotta get kind of a, a really watered down smoothie consistency here. And all your seeds are gonna be in the bottom of this, uh, of the, the pitcher here. So um, all we're going to do now is we're just going to strain off the, the liquid and the seeds will have settled down to the bottom. And so what we have to do is we just have to rinse this with water continuously and the heavy seeds will have floated down to the bottom. And uh, as you can see, all the seeds are actually down here still that haven't even come out. So um, most of this liquid actually uh, is, is mostly just 
you know, just blueberry pulp and water and stuff like that. So we can dump this out. And then um, most of your seeds are actually down here. Uh, I thought I'd have to do some more straining, but they sunk pretty well in this in this example. So, all right, let's head over to the sink and we'll get that next step done. And we're just rinsing out the pitcher there, okay? And now you have your seeds, which will have sunk down to the bottom, and um, any pulp. So what we want to do is we want to just kind of mix this around and gently dump the liquid. Because the seeds are the heaviest component, the seeds will sink to the bottom, and any inviolable seeds or pulp will float out. And we just want to keep repeating this step until we have just pure seed. All right. And at the very bottom, you'll see there's all of your blueberry seeds. They're completely fine. They've not been damaged by the blender. Um, and that's because the seeds are too small to be damaged by the blades of the blender. Um, but everything else is mashed up. So, all right. So now we're ready to go to the next step, which is to get them ready to sprout. All right. So now all I'm doing is I'm just sliding into uh, a Ziploc bag here, a piece of paper towel. And this is what we're going to sprout our seeds on. I folded it over about three to, uh, four times actually, um, just so that there's some thickness to it so it'll hold on to water pretty well. It'll be a really good sprouting bed for our seeds because they do take a while to sprout. Blueberry seeds will sprout um, in, in the best conditions around two weeks. So they're gonna be in here for a while so you want it to stay damp. We're gonna put some water in here, but just enough so that the paper towel absorbs all the water. And then we're going to let uh, just hold it upside down and let anything else drip out. You don't want any excess water. You only want the paper towel to be holding the moisture. That is the secret to using the paper towel sprouting method. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take a scoop full of our seeds. As you can see, they make a lot. And we're just going to take our seed. We're going to just smear it as evenly as possible over the uh, over the paper towel here. Use my fingers here, it might be a little bit easier. Um, but you just want even dispersion of the seeds. You don't want any seeds to be stacked up really heavily or you know clumped up. Because um, you want to be able to see when they're starting to germinate. So having having that dispersion is, is pretty important. So um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, there is all you need to do, and all we're going to do is just seal it and we're going to put it in a warm dark location extremely important to have it warm and dark so we're just going to put it in our pantry uh, in a in just a pantry uh, in our upper shelf in our pantry um, pretty nice and warm there and uh, that's going to be all we're going to need to do we're going to start to see sprouts in about two to three weeks and then we can move them into a uh, into a soilless potting mix to get them growing all right so there you go there is how you sprout blueberry seedlings from store-bought blueberries Hopefully you all enjoyed. I really do hope you try this. Now as a side note, um, even though we're going to be sprouting these and getting a ton of free plants, we still will be buying blueberry seedlings because um, the thing about these is when you sprout blueberry seedlings uh, from store-bought blueberries, you never really know the variety or the, the type that you're going to get. Even if you really like the flavor of the blueberries that you had, blueberries, much like apples, they're very unpredictable because they're open pollinated and um, honeybees will pollinate multiple types of blueberries and typically blueberry growers will grow multiple varieties of blueberries to better their production because when you grow more than one variety next to each other, they'll actually help, you help each other out. Same thing with apples um, and same thing with pears. A lot of different things are like that. So, uh, so when they cross pollinate, you're going to have a hybrid um, you're going to have a hybrid blueberry. So um, we're going to be getting some very dependable known varieties uh, from, you know, from a, an actual nursery. Uh, and also to plus side to that is that they'll fruit sooner. So these will fruit in about four years. We got four years to wait. So we're going to definitely be sprouting these as well because we'll get a bunch of free plants, which is great. And we'll have some stuff to give away to friends and family as well. Um, but then we'll also get some plants that will sprout in about, or will fruit in about a year or two years. And that's 
so we can have some uh, you know instant gratification so just keep that in mind and uh, let me know if you plan on doing this in the comments box below let me know if you also have any questions and also please do hit this like button it really really helps us out helps us grow helps content go to more people that would like to see it and also if you've not yet already click that subscribe button you can click it somewhere over here or over here I'll have a little circle that you can click and that will uh, direct you to uh, subscribe to our channel. All right, hey, hopefully y'all enjoyed, hope you learned something new, and as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.